what's going on everyone and welcome back to another assassin's creed valhalla guide today i wanted to take some time to go over all of the legendary animals that you can hunt down where you can find all of them and then of course what rewards you get once completed if you happen to find this video helpful leave a like and subscribe because that would be a huge help for me and thank you for doing so now let's get started all right so in assassin's creed valhalla there are many different activities you can find and do that unlock unique rewards weapons abilities and so forth one of them being hunting down the legendary animals throughout the world. Now, before you do, you want to make sure that you have built the hunting lodge at your settlement, which is where you'll go to turn in your hunting trophies when done. Now, there are 11 legendary beasts in total, but at the hunting lodge, you'll only be required to defeat nine of these. For the purpose of this video, I will be showing you all 11 of those legendary animal locations. Once done, you can turn in the trophy heads and should receive both a predator bow and voter's bite, which is a two-handed X. There are also some other things that you can get for the rewards, such as tattoos, different types of hair, different types of uh, decorations that you can put around your settlement. But for the most part, the main things are going to be the Predator Bow and the Two-Handed Axe. Now, both are incredibly good weapons to add to your arsenal, and I believe the Predator Bow is the best in the game, so you definitely want to have that available to you. Another important note before we get started is that some of these legendary beasts are going to be in Jotunheim, Vinland, and Norway, so it will require you to have finished the main story to have all of the locations available for you. Now, first, you need to make your way to Norway and hunt down the Elk of Bloody Peaks, as shown here on the map. Now, for this fight, the ability Brush of Death is going to be great skill for slowing down time as the elk charges at you because it will be pretty fast. You can also use Harpoon Impalement to draw it in closer so that way you can go ahead and get your hits and it's not spread out and far from you. Next is the Bear of the Blue Waters, which is also located in Norway as shown here on the map. This can be a very tough fight as the bear has lots of defense, but I noticed hugging his rear legs during the fight will allow you to evade most of his hits, and then you just need to constantly hit him from there, do whatever abilities you need to do, and then eventually you should be able to defeat the bear. Then we can make our way back to England and head to this location on the map. The corpse feeders are three wolves that are very difficult to fight because they always attack at different times. So make sure you have the Miasma skill unlocked as well as Poison Strike level 2 unlocked to cause AoE poison damage while you try to focus on them more one at a time. Next is the Gamod Wolf located in England right here on your map. This fight is pretty straightforward and you can actually cheese the fight by keeping the wolf in the corner and then constantly using Tears Kick along with Daggers to easily defeat the wolf. I also recommend that you use Harpoon Impalement as well, so that way you can try to manage where the wolf is. If he gets out of the corner, go ahead and use Harpoon Impalement and then pull him back in. Next, we can go after the Black Shulk, located right here on the map. Now, this fight is okay until about 50%, in which the dog will start running around the area, waiting until you are still to charge at you, in which you can use Harpoon Impalement to bring it in closer, evade, and hit. Or, if you have enough stun damage from using something like the Black Hammer, you can just go ahead and stun it with a powerful hit. Next, we can go after Alfred's cattle, which has a giant strong bull in the middle of the ranch, surrounded by other cattle, and can be found right here on your map. Again, Miasma and fully upgraded Poison Strike will do wonders here, but try to stay behind the bull as you fight. Eventually, the other kettle will charge in to help, so be ready to evade quite a bit. Alright, next we can go fight a drunken bear found in a cave near your Iconium Ruins, as shown here on the map. There should be an opening in the ground for you to enter the cave and then make your way through to find the bear that's literally getting drunk in the cave. Don't take the bear lightly though, as it can still be a tough fight, but similar to the Gamald Wolf, Daggers and Tears Kick will help you beat the bear. Just try to keep it in the corner as much as possible and try to stay behind it. Next, we can go after the Blood Swine found in the swamp located here on the map. Now, the boar is very hard to see due to all of the tall grass and has a devastating charge attack. The fight is pretty straightforward though and you shouldn't have much trouble just keep attacking it and then once it gets closer try to evade use harpoon impalement to bring it into you and then you should be fine next we need to head to the southwest of winchester shown here on the map here you will find the wildcats of wield or wald or wield i don't even know how to pronounce that either way they are a father and son lynx duo focus on the dad first to save you a headache and then you should be fine with killing off the son later now we need to go into Vinland to fight a giant moose named Oyandu Ne. I'm pretty sure I butchered that as well. Either way, it's shown right here on the map. 
Now, if you don't have this unlocked yet, go finish the London Arc at your Alliance map and speak to Hytham at the Hidden Ones Borough in your camp to unlock it. So you need to trade leather, iron ore, and carbon ingots with local merchants for new equipment before your fight if you haven't already. Last but not least, we can go fight the hardest of them all, Steinbjörn, which is found in Jotunheim located right here on the map. Now, Jotunheim won't be unlocked until you complete the Asgard arc from your Seer Hut, who will eventually give you another potion for Jotunheim. If you happen to fight this animal, use fire buildups and make sure your ration bag is fully upgraded because you're going to need to bring a lot of heals. However, I have noticed that if you're using dual wielding daggers, harpoon impalement, and tears kick, you can literally cheese the fight and kill the bear very easily, as shown in some of the gameplay on this video. Alright everyone, so those are all 11 legendary animals in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, their locations, and then of course what rewards you get for defeating them. I do hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your weekend. Peace.